video calls are going to be the new norm. So how did I evolve from this to this? Hi, I'm Christian Chua and today's video is about how to make your video conferencing calls look more professional. So first of all, I know those of you who use Zoom, you like to play around with that virtual background. The problem is I don't quite like that because the moment I become animated, I lose body parts. So I sort of stopped using green screen and I try to use a real background and I evolve from this to this. So what do you do? Just go to the shop, get some inexpensive wallpaper, wallpaper your background to the one that you like. I'm sure you can find a nice corner. The second thing you notice is I chose warm lighting compared to cool lighting. Why? Because I saw this and I felt it was cool having warm lighting. I mean like, yeah, like it's not cool lighting, but warm light. It looks cool having warm lighting. How do you get warm lights? Buy some warm lights and put it around the house. Switch off all the fluorescent lights, that's cool light, and then you write one more thing. Go to your app and uncheck the auto white balance because your app and your camera tends to bring it back and balance it to a more fluorescent white look, okay? But if you don't have that and you don't want to uh, have the warm look, at least face your laptop or whatever uh, camera that you have to towards the mirror so you get a natural light and your face will look brighter okay here's another tip when you are on zoom you could uh, you, watch this the difference between using dark clothes and light clothes you can trick the camera by using dark clothes so that they can open the aperture a lot bigger and then your face becomes brighter as for the sound Initially, I used an inbuilt microphone and it sounds a bit echoey. And all you need to do buy a simple mic. Mine's a Rode mic and then it's wired. I hide it behind the laptop. No one, my audience don't see it. But then it's crisp sounding right now. Really good stuff. Okay. And also, uh, I invested in a webcam. It's really the world of difference. This is before webcam and this is after webcam. So you can see the difference. So you can see the difference in the quality. What else you can do? Yeah, I'm, I'm a body language expert. So here's a few tips on body language. Uh, smile before even you come on live with the camera. You don't want to look like, uh, oh no, oh no, oh no, hello. Okay, uh, you know, professional broadcasters, they want to look nice the moment they go on live. So that's what you need to do. A lot of people are still stunned with it. 10 seconds after they go on live, they say, ah, live ready, ah, live ready. Uh, so, okay, smile before you go on live. And the next thing you do, uh, know that people are watching you. Could be one person or could be 200 people. They are watching you. So talk like they are there because they are there. Most of the time when we don't see our audience, we, our energy tends to be a bit lower and we thought like no one's watching. We scratch our heads and we dig our noses. No, they are there. Okay, so talk like they are there. You know, the difference is when you're on a phone and you've seen people on a phone and because no one can see them, they are less animated. And so they talk without hand gestures. But you have seen some people when they talk, they actually move their hand and they're more animated. And you know, it comes across a lot more passionate when they are communicating but in this case people are watching you so you just you don't just don't sit there you give them the eye contact okay don't check something on your phone or look at the screen but that's not your real screen you have another screen in front you're going on facebook listening to what or watching what your friends are having for breakfast we can see in your eyes that you are not into the uh, conversation so give them the real authentic uh engagement not ask questions and smile at them at the right time you give you the the audience feed on your energy and they will continue to, to have a more authentic conversation. Okay. And finally, uh, keep talking even if you need to do some technical adjustments. Like if you want to share screen, you just don't pause and say, okay, uh, hold on. I want to share my screen. Where is the command? And your face goes really near the camera. Uh, looks really odd. So what we do on stage is this, even if there's a technical glitch, sometimes when I speak to a large audience and the microphone goes off, I remove the microphone and I continue speaking. I don't say, uh, AV, the uh, mic's not working and I pause there for two minutes. You know, this is the time where people just whip out their phone and they start having a conversation with their friends and you totally lose your audience, okay? And also turn off all kinds of apps in your background like a WhatsApp and then halfway through you get a buzzing sound that is so embarrassing. And finally, of course, 
if you're doing it at home, uh, you should stick a sticker outside your door and say, teleconference in progress, please remain silent. If you like this video, good news for you, there's gonna be a lot more good stuff coming up in my future videos.